everyone i hope you're doing well i'm back again and i'm also back with my camera it's been fixed so no more like facetime videos anymore and for this week's video if you couldn't tell by the title i'm doing like a thrifted charity shop discount bookshop haul if that's okay with you all it's my birthday not right now but probably to upload it it'll be my birthday so 17th of june um so these were sort of a birthday present most of the books are from a place called 66 book club in hemel hempstead and i will leave the link to it in the description down below so don't worry uh because if any of you live in hertfordshire or london then you probably could get to this place quite easily so that's why i am leaving a link if you're interested in going i don't know what each individual thing came to price wise um i just know what the overall price was so yes um i don't have much else to say also the link to my instagram book instagram is in the bio if you want to follow it but otherwise yeah i don't have much else to say i'll start with the first book this is the only book that is not from the discounted bookshop in hemel hempstead this is from a charity shop and it is called the bookshop on the shore by jenny colgan i got that for a pound this is the only one that i know the exact price for i got that for a pound in a charity shop and it's basically about this woman who escapes to the highlands with her son and i'm pretty sure opens a bookshop <laughs> so that's the first book of what i got these are all romance books by the way and then the next book that i got because i've been wanting to get into historical romances um a lot recently and i did buy a little while ago um i did buy the first book in the british series and i haven't read it yet but I have been meaning to read them and they didn't have actually the disc like at the discounted bookshop they didn't have any of the Bridgerton series which I really thought they would do but maybe in a few months time they will so I got the Traders Reward by Anna Jacobs some of these books are quite old this isn't even this is the fifth novel in the Traders series so I need to read the other four <laughs> pretty much but this one is about a woman who emigrates to australia i'm pretty sure but i'll read the other ones first i'm hoping that they're good and then the next book that i got was aching for our ways by gwyn creedy um again i'm pretty sure this is an older book i don't even know if this is meant to be historical or not um i got the general gist that it's about someone a woman trying to save her mother's map shop that's what the general gist i've got from the blurb is but yeah i'm excited to read these books it's quite small and cute that one not very big and then the next book that i got was um the duchess by danielle Steele. this is the first book that I've read by Danielle Still, I haven't ever read any of her other books. I know she's so popular, but I haven't read any of her other books. Um, in the discounted bookshop, they had a whole rail or a whole shelf, whatever you want to call it, a massive shelf of just Danielle Still books. And I picked up this one because, again, I wanted to get into historical romances. Um, and if it's anything to do with royalty or like Duchess or the Duke, um, then I'm quite interested. So um, I've been meaning to get more into those sort of books. So I'm excited to read that. And then the next book I got was Dangerous Games, again by Danielle Steele. And I got the sort of idea that this one is more than just a romance. Again, I'm pretty sure these two are standalones. I don't think... Um, you have to read loads of other books to read this one. Um, I'm really excited to read this. So again, I haven't read any other. I haven't read any Danielle Steele books, so I'm excited to actually see if it's worth the hype. And then the next book is a book that I'm most excited that I got, uh, just because when I went into the bookshop, I took my dad and my sister with me, and my sister said, "What is there a specific author that you're looking for? Or is there any names I should look out for?" And I was like, "Yes." Sylvia Plath and Talia Hibbert because I've read the first book in the Danny Brown sibling or the Danny Brown sisters trilogy. They had Take a Hint Danny Brown which um, I've been looking for for ages. Not even looking for, I've been meaning to read for ages so I was probably just going to buy it on my Kindle but I'm so glad that I found it in the bookshop uh, because it would 
originally been $9.99, so it was 80% off that, so a massive, massive bargain for me, and I loved Get Alive Chloe Brown, they also did have Get Alive Chloe Brown, but I obviously didn't pick it up, because I already got it, so I didn't need it again, but yes, I'm so, 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 so glad that I found this one, and on the topic of Sylvia Plath, I never know if it's Plath or Plath, um, I say Plath, because I'm from London, so I don't really know, like I would say, would you like a bath? I wouldn't say, would you like a bath? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, anyway, it was Sylvia Plath and it was uh, Mary Ventura and the Ninth Kingdom. It's just a little short Faber story. I wanted some of her poetry, but they didn't have any, unfortunately. Um, but I like anything to do with Sylvia Plath, so this is why I've gotten this. Um, and then the next book that I got was Hottest Mess by Jay Kenner. I'm pretty sure there's other books in this series maybe or you had to have read something before this. I'm not too sure. But I know Jay Kenner. I've read one or two of her other books. So this is why I picked this one up because I already knew that I liked her work. So that was good. I'm glad to have found that one. And then the next book that I picked up was Anchor Me by Jay Kenner. Again, I know what her books are like. Also, I don't know if this is another one in a series. So I'll have to figure it out. I think it is. And the next book that I got was Wicked Truths by Jodie Ellen Malpas. Malpas? I'm not too sure I'll say that name. Um, that's the book. This is is not the first book in the series i have to read another book um which is fine but they didn't i don't think they had they had a lot of her books but they didn't have i don't think they had the other one in this series um and the one problem with that discounted bookshop is that you can never get internet service or 4g or anything so i couldn't ever check <laughs> to see if this had other books or if these were even well rated so sometimes it is you literally just go in and you go i'll buy it and i'll see if i like it so i hope i like the first book in this series because this isn't the first book so i'm excited because i've read her other books um which is why i didn't get the other books of hers that are in here um that were in the shop rather but I'm excited to read this one. And then the next book that I got was Dirty Deeds by Corinna Hall or Hal. Never too sure how to say that name. I'm really bad with names, to be honest. This, again, is part of a series. It's a trilogy. It's the Dirty Angels trilogy. Um, like I said, I know Corinna Hall. I've read a lot of her other books. Really liked her other books. Um, that's why I bought it, because I know she's a good author. And then the last book, last but not least, was Dirty Promises, again by her. So I got the, fir the first or the last two, I can't remember which, in this series, in this trilogy. So I'll have to get, or buy the first one, or in between. I don't know what the order is, basically. But I know that I like her as an author, so this is why I got her again. Uh... And yeah, that was pretty much all the actual book books that I got. I did also get, I can't see it, I'm looking around my room. No, I can't see it. I did also get like a nice little, I'll, I'll get it. I'll stand up and get it. Hold on. I did also get a little like notebook. It's just a blank notebook, but it's like leathery bound and it's got a little thing there so I can clasp it closed uh and I got that I don't know if that was part of the sale or not um I'm not too sure but for all those books and I will tell you how they also by the way there was two extra books um but I'm not going to include them because they're my dad's books um <laughs> and they were just like history books so nothing all that interesting so it's 10 of my books 12 if you include my dad's and then this book so pretty much 13 books it came to a hundred and seven pounds and we paid 23 pounds so um a ridiculously good deal especially when like these two alone are like 8.99 just alone so 
nearly 20 pounds there just in just those two books um so i'm very very happy with that and then i also paid an extra pound for the for the other book in the charity shop i'm very happy with that i hope you're all doing well i'm doing okay i don't think i have any updates for anyone about anything really um book wise when it was interesting about my book i everyone a lot of people have beta read it and the general consensus is that it's good it's not bad so i think i'm gonna go through and add a few more edits to it myself um because some people suggested some things that's fine and then i will look for a content editor so that is exciting news but it's taken me a while to get around to editing and stuff just because you know, i've been busy with work um but yeah i don't have many other updates my book instagram is in the bio i will link all these books down below i'm gonna do amazon affiliate links sorry um probably not even to the physical books probably just to the kindle books because that's easier for you guys I know a lot of i know a lot of you read on your kindles or you can or have kindle unlimited um so i'll probably just link that to make it easier for you guys um and yes, I'll also link the bookshop where I got everything from. And my Storygraph and my Goodreads are in the bio if anyone's interested in being friends with me on there. And I'm pretty sure you can follow me on Storygraph. And if you do follow me, I'll probably just follow you back. So we can follow each other on Storygraph. Um, I really don't have any other updates or anything like that. I will see you at some point soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you could like, if you could subscribe you could comment what books you're reading any new books that you bought yourself just got anything really i'm happy to listen um yes thank you so much for the support thank you for watching and we shall chat oh and we shall chat soon so goodbye <laughs>